So first of all, can maybe give me a little bit of just background on the song. Like, what's the origin of the song itself? Like, the original original was done by DJ Top City. And then there was another version that was done by Dope of, of the group, uh, Dangerous on Paper and etc. I'm a dirty dick nigga. I'm a multiple personality multiplies in the 36 niggas. While in court nigga. Bust this nigga. Trust this nigga. They can kiss these nigga. Miss these nigga. Piss these niggas. Off nigga. And I'm a go straight left nigga. Understand. Out of breath nigga. Bust nigga. Yo. Somebody you really can't trust nigga. Rock of the Zoo heard that version and we were in Kansas City at the O at their studio and he sat us all down we had the whole group in there and he said listen uh, I don't want to be disrespectful I want to step on anybody's toes um, Damon your production you know what I'm saying you coming up you're doing your thing I respect you but I got something I want y'all to hear and he played this beat and he's like okay now you know that song that y'all got the 1137 song take your lyrics and spit it over this beat. Just try it. I just want you to try it. You know, I'm the first one to go on the song, so now I gotta try to remember what the hell I'm gonna say on the thing. And uh, I think I got probably six to maybe eight bars out, and I got it immediately. I was like, oh my God. It connected more to the streets than any other song we had, including Yellow Brick Road, Central Time Zone, Unsigned Hype. It was a conduit straight to the street. After you get past the first verse and you hear the next guy go, then you get the concept of what, you know what I'm saying, what this record is going to be about. What was the concept? Just to give a, a short version, a, you know, in a verse of who, you know, who we really are. Because I think at the time, unless you were family or you were close enough to, you know, the individuals in the group, you really didn't know who we were. People took it for granted, like, okay, we don't, we don't know anything about the streets. It was one of those things, really more of a personal record to me, because it's like, you really don't know me. You know, all these lyrics and, you know, this hip hop and hippity hop, you know, blah, 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 and all that. And you absolutely have no idea of, of who I am. There was a, a reason why we went in the direction that we went in from the beginning, and it's because we wanted respect as MCs. That's what we were taught. That's what we were given. Now, I'm not implying that I was in the streets deep. No, I had a good upbringing. I had a mother and a father, and you know what I'm saying? I, I was raised in a house, but I did make choices to do you know certain things that you're not supposed to get into. And I was also taught at that time, you don't speak about those things. You don't talk about that. So we took the lyric MC route, bar heavy, and we, you know, we went that direction. But this song was in the, the whole other end of the perspective. It's like, okay, let's go to the street. Let's go to the street. You wanna go to the street? Let's go to the street. Something I think is really striking about the song is that it doesn't have like a traditional hook. Mm -hmm. The focus didn't seem to be on, on uh, no, you know, the hooks. it wasn't. And there were a lot of songs like that. There were certain structured songs that we had, you know, hook, 16 bars, hook, 16 bars. And there were other times it's like, this rap, the hook is your flavor. I don't sound like this guy, this guy doesn't sound like me, this guy doesn't sound like the other guy, the last guy doesn't sound like the first two, that's the hook. You know what I'm saying? It's just as simple as that. It, say what you got to say. If I'm not mistaken, if you go and you even count the bars of this particular song, there are some, certain verses that are that are longer than others. You know what I'm saying? But say what you got to say. Go until you finish. That's it. The video. Where does this footage come from, dude? Um, a lot of this comes from live footage um, from our shows. Then there were certain locations that we actually set up in in Topeka. And as I'm looking, this was the little, I guess, the little mini movie that, that we tried to put together <laughs> um, in Topeka at Randy's. It was Randy's apartment. I was our manager. Kind of talking was a concept video that we shot. Right. Had, you know, sets and, and whatever. This was really just put together from 
existing projects that we had. Right, that's at the Capitol, Capitol building in Topeka. Now, do you remember why we were at the Capitol? I don't honestly remember, I don't. <laughs> I remember it was bitter cold. I, I remember that, I do not remember why we were at the Capitol. I do not know, no. We were there to shoot photos for the MAG cover story. Mm. You guys said, let's go to the Capitol and we can, you know, take some shots on the stairs and we can walk around and we took shots of the fire escapes and stuff. And then afterwards, is this Damon's house? That, I think is Damon's house. Oh, and that's right, and we took the pictures. The picture that was used was the picture we took in the back of his house. Exactly. Okay. The last thing we did that day was went in the backyard. In the back and took the pictures. And took right. these pictures with the whole group. There's just two photos we took. And those both ended up being used in different places. Very right. iconic. One was that's on the it. cover of the mag, and then one like shows up on the Wikipedia page. Some of the footage from the music video was taken from that session. Some of it was live, but then the other part of it was from the short movie we made. And do you remember why we were making this movie? No. <laughs> I just I remember doing it. No, I do not. Our masterpiece? Right. Okay, it's probably been a while since you've seen this, yeah. you know. You, you know, note that this has not been posted to YouTube. Uh, right. <laughs> Ever. I think it was maybe Barry's idea originally, but the idea was you guys would open a show by showing this movie on screen. Mm -hmm. So you'd be showing this movie on screen and waiting in the wings and the you know theater goes mm -hmm. dark, they're showing the movie. And the plot of the movie was you guys were trying to get to the Granada to play a show. And then it would end with you guys banging on the back door of the Granada, mm -hmm. trying to get in, coming into the back door. And then here you come, like a movie come to life and you walk on the stage and open with your first I remember, song. I remember now because we jumped over the wall several times <laughs> in the back of the Granada. Yes, to, right. To, you know, to, yeah. So that was the idea. That was the, that's why we made the movie. And we thought it would be fun to include tributes to some of our favorite films. So this was from Goodfellas. Remember the ending of Goodfellas when he's driving around, coked out of his mind, looking for like the helicopters mm -hmm. and stuff? Okay, yep, so that was plot point A. We mm -hmm. said, all right, we'll have Barry driving around looking paranoid, <laughs> being chased by helicopters. That is Donnie. That is DJ Top City's younger brother. The guy sitting next to his right, that's Pontiac. He's on yeah. the Million Dollar Broke Nigga. He's on Yellow Brick Road. This is Kevin Woods. He's actually um, in college. And then Casey, and then I'm trying to see who Randy's over here. Randy's right here. Yeah. And then well, Another plot point was that in the movie Pulp Fiction, there's um, Marcellus Wallace. Mm -hmm. He's always shot from behind. You never see his face in right. the whole movie. And so we were like, we're going to have Randy be the Marcellus Wallace. You'll never see his face. Right. His face. Okay. So that's why you saw, always saw uh, Randy just from the back. And then you would see everybody that he was talking to. This is Special Agent Rex. Code 1137. Spot is secure. Got it locked. Do you, do you remember sh shooting that footage? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. The spot's secure. Did you get my medicine? No, uh, you, you are right. No, this nigga is sleeping. Products with Hunt. He keeps mentioning helicopters following him or something. <laughs> so there's clearly no, uh, <laughs> no script. Right. All the lines were just improvised. We just kind of had these plot points and then we told everybody just, you know. Do your thing. That's the kind of shit we got to get down on. That is shit. You know what I'm saying? Child that kind of fat. shit. He got his chrome that shit. That shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, the idea was that there was this mystery case mm -hmm. and that was like from Pulp Fiction. There's some mystery case. We don't know what's in the case. And it was going to end with like a standoff from Reservoir Dogs, you know, with guns. Mm -hmm. So we told everyone, uh, bring the guns over, don't have them loaded, and then we're going to have this standoff. Yeah, we're going to shoot the scene. Right. And action. And we ain't got the case. That nigga's supposed to be doing shit. We ain't got the case, like my man said. Like the man said. <laughs> <laughs> And you see these things with like Alec Baldwin and even, you know, Brandon Lee. It is sort of amazing that no one got arrested or hurt in the filming of this crazy movie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
So then you would screech to a halt. Everybody would jump the wall. Oh my God, we shot that a bunch of times. Oh my too. God, Everybody I think we went over, over that damn wall like four or five times that night, shit. I wanna say, did we play this at, at the Granada one night? Yes, you did. It was that night that you wheeled Scorpies out on stage. Okay, so that was the um, the pitch Clammy awards. Yeah. something or yeah, another. The, yeah, it was a Clammy's Right. There was like nobody at that show. Yeah. And really so it, it just all sort of didn't work. Uh, obviously, I see where we could have did a hell of a lot better. Um, I think it was a valid effort. I think it was a good idea. I definitely think it was a good idea. And at the time, I definitely thought it was a good idea. I still think it's a good idea. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we were to do it again, we definitely, it would definitely look way different than that. You know, and not... Like the quality of what you're seeing is like the acting. <laughs> just that alone. Like, yeah, we're gonna have to script this thing out, fellas. You got to say your lines. Well, it was very fun to make. It was yeah. enjoyable to make. And I remember, you know, Elliot, especially uh, Reader, working on it a lot. Jeffrey's worked on it. Shooting all the different scenes in all the different locations. We did all the voiceovers at my apartment, mm -hmm. everybody came in. I mean, a lot of work went into it. In the end, as a film itself, it didn't quite work, but then the video, I think it turned out to be really cool. Like I said, I think it was all right. It's like a, um, <laughs> the acting was like a 70s exploitation. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I just came to my mind, like, yeah, that's what that reminded me of. That's what I wanted to say. But other than that, yeah, I mean, but, but we made it. And, and a lot of the guys that played in that, you know, were, were um, devious supporters, family, friends. Like I said, we had a few uh, Washington football players in there. And <laughs> I was about to turn to go, is you bad at bad at food? <laughs> when we shot all of that footage outside of my apartment in Lawrence, there's a clip at the end where your daughter shows up. What's your name? I'm Tiana. And what is your opinion of DVS Minds? But again, just the point that it's a video shoot, but it's also family, you know? Right, like right. There's, there's family around, there's children running around, you know, even as we're doing that kind of stuff. So that becomes the final video. The photo shoot footage, various live concerts, including the bottleneck and the Granada, and then the stuff from the film, which really just follows the plot point, right, the it, plot point it. of the of the movie right. itself. I also remember when we talked about doing a music video that this was the song I wanted to do. Mm. And you guys were clear that it was gonna be tired of talking. Picture me saving the planet. You couldn't fake the twist. I would have rolled the comet and dropped the detonation switch. The way people is coming at me, all of a sudden I read the But I was like, come on, this is the song. This is your most iconic song. And you guys were like, no, no, tired of talking, which actually I think was absolutely the right call. But always I had in mind that this song needed to have a video and especially shooting the live stuff. I remember the black and white in particular thinking, I want to use this mm -hmm. as part of the video because I, I really like this idea of the, the black and white footage. I certainly remember seeing this, you guys perform this song live the mm. first time I saw you. And even then, the crowd really responding to it and being really into this song. 23, 24 years ago? Shit. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> Here we are still today, you know. <laughs> All right. On the creek, nigga. Gonna sneak, niggas. About to catch you sleep, nigga. Nigga, who is you? I'm a snap out, nigga. A blackout, nigga. A smack mouth, nigga. Because you, niggas, say fuck stew, niggas. I'm quick to cuss you, niggas. So fuck you, niggas. Plus, you, niggas, think we soft, niggas. So violence is my first and final thought, niggas. Show both, niggas. Slow poke, niggas. I'm no joke, nigga. I'm from no coast, nigga. I'm a gun tote, nigga. I'm one broke, nigga. A child support, nigga. While in court, nigga. I'll abort, niggas. I'm a dirty dick, nigga. Multiple personality multiplies and a 30 sick, niggas. I don't like blunts, nigga. I don't like punk, niggas. I stay drunk, nigga. Ready to punt, niggas. I'm a 40 ounce, nigga. Cause I like beer, nigga. I'm a fuck the street. Let's do it right here, nigga. Silent type, weird, nigga. You'll be running from, nigga. Shut the fuck up and understand where I'm coming from, nigga. A top city, nigga. Hit your 
block with 50 niggas Them no love niggas Them closed club niggas Stop being a strange nigga Find your sack nigga Let them hang nigga Behind the back nigga I'll crush that nigga Out of hate nigga You bout a fake nigga Out of state nigga Show respect nigga Ready to fight these niggas And give a fuck if your black ass don't like me nigga You got something to prove nigga What you wanna do nigga You wanna move nigga You want me punching you nigga Make no mistake nigga My show me state niggas and killer clans is gonna do away with only fake niggas There's only a few niggas, really some true niggas Which one are you nigga, what you gonna do nigga Nigga who is you, I'm a straight thug nigga Tear the club nigga, show no love nigga Nigga who is you, I smack mo hoes nigga Two days in a row rocking the same clothes nigga I'm a no coach nigga, a no joke nigga Don't act like you don't know nigga, it's dope nigga A loaf nigga, a million dollar broke nigga Bacardi dark and Sprite, I don't smoke nigga But I choke nigga, black and mouth nigga A bet nigga rig, acting wild nigga A hostile nigga, I take your style nigga A ex to ex to rest with your ex foul nigga Why you smile nigga, like you my pal nigga I'm on sign so I gotta go these extra miles nigga But I give a fuck nigga, we can buck nigga Guns, I take your funds, now you out of luck nigga Cause I'm a street nigga, must complete nigga Creep nigga, sneak up on you with a nine in your Jeep, nigga, I flash the heat, nigga Ain't nothing sweet, nigga Give me the watch, brace and stash under the seat, nigga Now you struck, nigga Looking stuck, nigga I told you the last few bars I give a fuck, nigga Cause I'm a devious, nigga I'm a mischievous, nigga I put my dick on the track You better believe in this, nigga So stop dissing, nigga And just listen, nigga Or some old cats will find your ass When they go on fishing, nigga Cause you a fool, nigga Wanna be on my crew, nigga With Damon, Barry, Dewan, and Stu, nigga But you a whack Nigga, never be fat, nigga. Always broke, but always wanna blaze the sack, nigga. Kicking crap, nigga. As a matter of fact, nigga, ain't nothing true. You kick in your raps, nigga. Like smoking blunts and carrying a nine, nigga. We ain't fucking with my nigga. How you get signed, nigga? Nigga, who is you? I'm a ISP, nigga. Parolee, nigga. They don't know me, nigga. Nigga, who is you? I'm a hellhole, nigga. Man, is anybody fucking with us? Hell no, nah, nigga. I'm a Tom Poe, nigga. Bunch of bomb blow, nigga. Full grown Indian from Nakaho, nigga. They flockin' no nigga, keep it poppin' no nigga. Automatic shine, call him mop and glow, nigga. The bud makes me wiser, nigga. You're fired, nigga. Now that the Midwest is up in here, the loudest niggas don't even try it, nigga. We watchin' niggas, we'll start a riot, nigga. Start sparkin' niggas, put the hit out, nigga. Make you a milk cart, nigga. Tie you up, you'll have nothing to lose like Martin, nigga. Y'all some shit start niggas. Play the part, niggas. When DVS show up on they dick right off the start, niggas. I mean some lame ass niggas, scared to bang ass niggas. One of them, I lay down my gang ass niggas. I'm 11 third nigga. Fuck your word, nigga. Show me the bread, the rest is for the birds, nigga. I'm a closet full of heat, nigga. Don't compete, nigga. I'm defeat, nigga. Make your head leak, nigga. Nigga, who is you? That no fame, nigga. That no name, nigga. Still getting brains, nigga. Nigga, who is you? That one rap, nigga. That blaze a sack, nigga. Gone off the yak, nigga. Where the mic, nigga? I heard you tight, nigga. I blow the mic, nigga. Then throw the mic, nigga. On no night, nigga. So how you figure, nigga? Cause you bigger, nigga. I feel bigger, niggas. With slugs and shit, nigga. Sticks and bricks, nigga. I see you, nigga. You can be there too, nigga. You drive by, niggas. I'ma walk by, nigga. Pull the AR-15 and watch you die, nigga. Then kick your corpse, nigga. With full force, nigga. On your porch, nigga. Then smoke a port, nigga. Cause you provoke, niggas. I choke cold niggas and punk bold niggas in front of they hoes nigga that wild flow nigga your style's old nigga i'm rocking shows nigga without a control niggas if you the realest nigga i'm the illest nigga killer the hun nigga i kill for fun nigga like ox said nigga i infrared nigga who wanna romp nigga i bumba clot niggas i'm midwest nigga so fuck the rest nigga i rhyme a motherfucker straight out of kansas nigga